welcome everyone. This is Ash Kalurachi, uh, uh, producer at EdTech Week. Welcome to January's EdTech Week Shark Tank. Um, I'm going to uh, kick things off uh, by uh, asking each of my fellow sharks, who you, whose names uh, and organizations you see on the screen, uh, to, to um, introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about um, uh, where they're coming from. Uh, but uh, it's my honor to, to welcome Eileen Rudden of Learn Launch, Rebecca Hu of Schmidt Futures, and Miguel Kersenbaum of um, Jobs for the Future uh, to join me today. Uh, so let us uh, welcome Moonshot to the stage. Thanks, Ash, for the opportunity. My name is Alok Jain. Uh, I'm a serial entrepreneur. Uh, we are a Silicon Valley company and we are in the build, business of building future entrepreneurs and innovators. Um, so really what problem we are solving, uh, PwC predicts there will be less than 10% full-time jobs by 2030. And uh, if you see the young people starting businesses, it has gone down by over 70% in the last 30 years. So really the future of work is changing and our current education system is not keeping up. And just to uh, fix this thing, uh, Moonshot Junior is solving this uh, with an outcome focus, all online, uh, individual interest infused, holistic entrepreneurial training with emphasis on STEM. Uh, our proprietary four stage instructor led blended program prepares middle and high schoolers for the college and future of work based on the area of their passion and interest. Uh, we have helped uh, several of our students in building and selling their product on platforms like Kickstarter, Amazon, and various app store and realizing tens of thousands of revenues. Uh, so we are just a year old company. Uh, we are adding over 60 uh, SaaS customers uh, every month. Uh, our team and students has created over 10 products which are selling on Amazon and other places. We have realized over quarter million dollar revenues. The smart money is happening. We have several people uh, invest on our cap table who has built and exited $100 million at tech and e-commerce uh, 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 businesses. It's a, a SaaS program, subscription, parent pay a single fee every month. Uh, we have a seasoned team of founders. Uh, we are a 30 plus full-time employees. Uh, and uh, we are raising, uh, or we are closing our $800,000 round. Um, uh, over 70% has been already closed. And um, I'll welcome to uh, you guys to join us in transforming Curious Minds through Moonshot Junior. Thank you. Thank you, Alok. Uh, any questions or comments from the Sharks for well, Alok? Um, this is super interesting, not, not in the least because I spend most of my time uh, supporting entrepreneurs. But um, my question is, uh, you know, for your B2B2C customers, especially, how do you make the ROI case for these students' academic progression and what kind of outcomes are you specifically pegging them to? Yeah, so I think uh, uh, in terms of uh, business ROI, I think uh, right now we are uh, uh, seeing uh, uh, somewhere 45 to 50% profit margin. From the student perspective, I think uh, when it comes to their business, uh, we are really not discussing ROI with their parents, but right now they are really coming for this experience where uh, we can give them entrepreneurial journey where they know at the end of the program that uh, they can launch their first product on Amazon and so on. Did you see um, this replacing some of the uh, after school, uh, in, in the Boston area, for example, we have Einstein's Workshop and POW, a whole range of, uh, you know, after school organizations. Of course, there's build the nonprofit, which is attempting to do the similar things. Is, is this a replacement for them? Or is the market just so nascent that you can, you know, reach a greater geography? Um, how do you see yourself growing? Yeah, so I think uh, 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 just two simple things. Uh, there is a, not a single platform which is really done in the scalable way. There are a lot of brick and mortar uh, setup. And second thing, and I don't want to say it loudly, but uh, there are institutes, they claim the project-based learning and have been operating for 10 years. And you ask them, show me five students who has reached to the finish line and they struggle. We are not even a one full year and we have several students. They are successful entrepreneurs selling their stuff on Amazon. So I'll stop there. And your marketing okay. director parents, is that or? Go ahead, Eileen. Oh, yeah. sorry. Uh, your go-to-market or, or how are you reaching parents? I assume they're the- I've done online marketing for over 10 years. Uh, okay. because we have all the usual channel, Facebook ads and all kinds of things. But now we are also sending uh, flyers through uh, PJAR. There are a lot of viral factors. Every student comes, they create a bunch of videos, they create products. Everything is shared on social media by their uh, parents. So I think there are a lot of factors uh, which are beyond just traditional marketing. Thank you.